hands. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am the rest for all the despairing, healing for the ones who dwell in shame. Oh, the blind will see. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. On the night of Pen Pentecost, after I had buried the dead, I, Tobit, went into the courtyard to sleep next to the courtyard wall. My face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know there were birds perched on the wall above me, till the warm droppings settled in my eyes, causing cataracts. I went to see some doctors for a cure, but the more they anointed my eyes with various salves, the worse the cataracts became, until I could see no more. For four years I was deprived of eyesight, and all my kinsmen were grieved at my condition. Ahikar, however, took care of me for two years until he left for Elmiris. At that time, my wife Anna worked for hire at weaving cloth the kind of work women do when they send back the goods to their owners, they would pay her. Late in the winter, in the seventh of distress, she finished the cloth and sent it back to the owners. They paid her the full salary and also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleat. I called to my wife and said, where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to the owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. She said to me, It was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages, yet I would not believe her, and told her to give it back to the owners. 
I became very angry with her over this. So she retorted, Where are your charitable deeds now? Where are your virtuous acts? See, your true character is finally showing itself. The word of the Lord. The response is, The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever, his horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me the denarius to look at. They brought, him, they brought one to him, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar." and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Tobit's wife speaks up in the reading today. She says, where are your charitable deeds now? Where are your virtuous acts? See, your true character is finally showing itself. Ouch, Mrs. Tobit. It's one of those moments that she had a microphone. That's the moment where she would drop the microphone. Underneath the gracious appearance of this religious man, Tobit, was a bucket full of anger, which he took out on his wife. And then he becomes humble. I think this particular story of Tobit challenges us to reflect on what's going on inside, what's going on underneath. Beneath the pleasant appearance that we give off to others, are, are, is something wrong? Are we angry because of something going on in our life? Are we jealous that someone seems to be more blessed than we are? 
Do we let the small, innocent actions of a spouse become very irritated in our lives, cause us to become irritated? And so, like Tobit needed from the mouth of his wife, sometimes we need a truth teller. One who sees through us a little bit. I think that's actually um, one of the functions of the Holy Spirit to kind of uncover what's going on inside of us. And so Tobit is angry because he's blind, because birds did their thing on his eyes. And then he accuses his wife of stealing the goat when she says it wasn't stolen. It was a gift over and above. It was kind of like a bonus. I think of Tobit, I think that sometimes we can be, um, we can be very kind and very generous to strangers, but to our own families to the people we live with, we can be harsh sometimes because we don't need to impress them. We don't need to kind of show off. Tobit, now to, to, to be fair, Tobit was certainly uh, a just and a charitable person in the eyes of God even in the eyes of his neighbors. His blindness probably made him touchy, made him impatient. He probably had a bad day. Who doesn't? Accusing his wife of stealing a goat and not believing her. It's also human. He calls her out forcefully and her response forces him to examine himself. Thomas Merton wrote, for me to be a saint means to me, for me to be myself. Francis de Sales spoke in the same way. Be who you are, he said, and be that well. Be who you are and be that well. The Pharisees and the Herodians are concerned, trying to trap Jesus once again, showing their hypocrisy, but Jesus brings them up short. Repay to Caesar, give to Caesar what is Caesar, give to God what is God's, and what is God's? We are God's. We are made in the image of God. Imagio Dei, in the image of God. And we are called to remind ourselves that we are stamped with his image. And although we are weak and sinful and have Tobit days, it doesn't erase that image. Just a martyr, whose feast we celebrate today, was stamped with God's image, gave witness to God with his very life. The question arises, how shall we repay? How shall we give back to God what we owe? How shall we repay what we owe? By being lavish, I think, by being lavish in our care for one another, our care for those close to us, spouses, kids, 
our care for the poor, and we give back to God what is God's in our service of ministry to the gospel. Yeah, we all have Tobit days. We even all have Mrs. Tobit days. When we open our mouths, is maybe we should kind of keep quiet. Not just the Mrs., the Misters as well. Um, but we all need someone at times to kind of bring us up short and to remind us that we need to, <clears throat> we need to be who we are and we need to do that well. Please stand. With absolute trust, we turn to God for our Holy Father and our Bishop. May God give them the strength and the grace that they need to lead and to teach those in their care, we pray to the Lord. For government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in focusing on justice, on mercy, and the good of all, we pray to the Lord. For children awaiting adoption, may Christ move the hearts of loving families in order to nurture and guide them, we pray to the Lord. Lord For an end of gun violence, violence of any kind, in our world, in our streets, in our homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all of us gathered this day in this holy place, may God's merciful love strengthen and sanctify us, we pray to the Lord. In thanksgiving for the angels that God places in our lives, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering and those who minister to them, we pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, we especially remember this day, Jerry Handlin. For the repose of her soul and the comfort of her family, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for, for all these people we promise to pray for. We pray to the Lord. Lord God our Father, we entrust to you these needs knowing that you desire all that is good for us. And we offer these needs and these prayers in the name of your Son, Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Friends, let's pray that these are gifts be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries 
which St. Justin Martyr strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your martyr, Justin, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble be so strength to bear you witness. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation. And we give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, bishops, clergy, religious, and all of God's people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, St. Michael, St. Justin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life with them and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. For our daily bread, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who are trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We share with one another sign of that. On this day, I is the Lord Jesus who calls us to walk in his ways. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy.
Let us pray. Reflect, refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teachings of St. Justin Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May God bless you and your families, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As is ended, we go in peace to love to serve the Lord. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.